everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are having a blessed and amazing start to your guys' monday right now steve just got off work and we are currently on our way to walmart um inside the walmart there's a fedex so i can print out some papers that i need this entire time since i got my vehicle within 24 48 hours my vehicle got towed then I got my vehicle out and now I'm trying to get it registered as soon as possible so that way they can't tow it for being on a public street because I guess you can get your vehicle towed for not having registration even if you're not driving it which obviously makes sense but I just I thought I'd have more time you know because I had just purchased the vehicle but I did the application online what sucks about the California DMVs is that a lot of the stuff used to be in person but now that everything is like becoming over AI and over an automated system they don't have as many workers and they change the hours at the DMV so like when I called them and I said oh can I do my title transfer they said yeah we have an online system for that and blah 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 and I was like okay girl yeah but can I still do it in person and she goes yes but we're gonna tell you to go and finish the process online so it's better just do it online regardless so I was like okay but this online system has already taken more than two weeks so I have a vehicle and I can't even drive it so it pisses me off because no matter i'm trying to do my best to do things the right way and i know anyone else would say girl just drive the vehicle who cares take your chance but i really can't i have like the worst luck that i know if the moment i drive that vehicle a cop is gonna pull up behind me and i'm gonna ruin my impeccable record because i have a perfect record that's the one thing that i love i'm so proud of is i never been arrested never got a speeding ticket never got any issues civilly uh criminally anything like that so i would like it to stay like that and i don't want to take the risk by driving my vehicle so right now we're headed to go print out my application because the dmv they are, they already took 305 dollars for me because i had to pay oh shoot i had to pay to uh like the past due registration fees because the person he bought the vehicle from they let the registration expire so then i had to pay their past fee dues just to even do my application so it was like oh my gosh i can never catch a break so i paid 500 dollars to get my car out 305 dollars to get my car um paid caught up on the registration and i still haven't even paid the title transfer fee any fees regarding the title because i haven't got it yet what they're asking me to do is take the title that i have take like a couple of paperwork that i have and send it in a mail to sacramento so then i have to wait however many days it's going to take to get to sacramento for the and then they're going to have to process it on their end another two to three days then i'm going to get the title once i get the title then i can pay for my registration so it's just like how long i'm going to have to wait for my tax and then i know once i pay for my tax i won't care to drive without my tax being on my vehicle because i know a cop can just look it up and say okay you paid your registration you just haven't received your tax yet but it's just such a long process because i just need a vehicle i'm i am so i feel like i have two hands tied behind my back and i'm unable to do stuff and i have to depend on everybody else and everybody else makes me feel like a burden you know so that's why i'm just trying to get back get my vehicle up and running and i hope everything works out i hope i can get this fixed within the next 14 days like that's what i'm hoping for right now i'm gonna pay for express shipping i don't care if it's next day 20 bucks whatever i gotta pay i'm gonna pay it but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get started sending the email to the fedex place now with all the paperwork i need to print out so that way i don't have to wait there and uh like take the process of sending it and wait for the email to arrive and all that stuff okay everyone so we just got to the apartment we were unable to send this stuff at the FedEx because I guess because they don't send things to P.O. boxes. They only send things to like regular addresses. So I have to go to the um, actual mailbox, the actual USPS office tomorrow because I guess today's a, what was it? A national holiday? A bank holiday. So just my luck. I'm going to go ahead and get it sent out tomorrow. Look at my cat, guys. I have a stray cat that I've been taking care of. He had an abscess in his mouth. His face, his whole eye, everything was swollen. I'm going to go ahead and insert a video right now so you guys can see. I was so scared. I did not know what to do. And look it. I love God because he always finds a way. I like pressed his face and like chocolate milk came out. I don't know how to explain it. And now he's doing better. Look it. Oscar. Oscar. Baby, my Oscarito chiquito. Oh, his face, he has a ball. You see it, babe? You see the ball on his face? 
It's okay. He's hungry. He's hungry. It's okay, Papa. I'm gonna feed him right now. Okay, guys. So my birthday just passed October 9th and I was gonna make a vlog, but to be honest, I was in my feelings because my grandpa is not here. So you guys know I was so 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 sad. And I'm not even just fast forward anyways so my boyfriend did everything he could to really make my day special and i wanted to show you guys some of the presents he got me um this is like a beautiful outfit i seen in true religion i really really like this like a dre jean dress i don't know if jean dresses are in but i told myself who cares if it's in or not girl like just wear it if you like it wear it so i was gonna buy this when i had went to the store but i was in the the outlets in Cabazon and tell me why the girl was being so rude to me like so I told myself you know what I ain't gonna spend any of my money in the store so I told my man let's go and he's over here looking at shirts and shit and I was like let's go babe and um he ended up going back to the store and he got it for me but he went to the Ontario Mills instead and then my man got me some Tory Burch sandals and you guys want to know something funny <laughs> I'm so funny he got me these ones and I was like babe why did you have to give me the one Tory Burch sandals that are like for girls with fat feet like I know I have a fat foot but I thought we were on the same page of pretending that I'm skinny you know so when he got me these I was like I know you fucking lying but I'm still grateful I love them I'm gonna rock the heck out of them. I don't know why I'm not used to like having nice stuff. So when I get nice things, I never wear it. I never use it. I just like wanna preserve it and keep it in the box. Like even when I was young, my dad bought me so many brats and I would never open the boxes. And to this day, I'm sad cause like my dad threw them away, you know? And I wish I would have played with them. I wish I would have used them. So now as an adult, I'm trying my best to like use everything, make the most of everything. We also went to, um like Sally's and I got hair treatment I got makeup like so I got this little sh uh shadow palette that has like a lot of blues which I really like because I want to learn how to do smoky eyes I got some banana powder um I got this cute eyebrow plucker that reminds me of Canelo do you guys see it <laughs> so so cute and I also got like so many hair treatments of Cantu. I love Cantu, it's probably one of my favorite hair treatments. And I got some glossing oil, just so that way I can start taking better care of my hair. I have a bad habit of washing my hair, not every day, more than once a day. Like I take two to three showers a day. I don't know what it is, but maybe it's cause like, I am finally in my own place and I feel comfortable that, okay, I go to before I go to school, I take a shower. Before I go to bed, I take another shower. And every single time I wash my hair and I've noticed like my hair is so dry. So now that I'm putting conditioning mask in it and I'm not washing it, it already feels healthier within a couple of days. So I'm gonna stay doing that. Now, the reason why I got like blue eyeshadow as well is because we went to go get our Halloween costumes and this is what Steve's gonna be. And this is what I'm gonna be, Jack and Sally. And because I got the blue eyeshadow, it's gonna make it like a little easier to do. I also got like the face paint. I got white as a base and then this blue, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of blue, some color theory and paint my whole body because I'm not gonna stress about buying the exact color because they sell the exact paint color for like 15 bucks when I was able to buy these for $3.84 each and I can make my own shade of her the way that I like it. And let me show you guys. I also got this Pandora bracelet, so beautiful. I love it so much, I'm very grateful. It cost like $350, it was like $330. I got a gold bracelet, I got a heart and lock key, and I got it engraved with me and Steve's anniversary. And I also got it with insurance, just so that way if anything happens to it, I can get it replaced. Do you guys see our date engraved in it? It is so beautiful. The only thing I dislike about it is that I have a lot of arm hair and it pulls my arm hair so i'm gonna have to shave my arm hair so that way i can wear it more comfortably um one of my shady friends at school had the nerve to say oh cute bracelet but why are you wearing it if you only have one charm girl like can i can i live can i have this time i also got this jar set from the night uh the nightmare before christmas beautiful huh frog's breath deadly nightshade warms work these jars i'm gonna use but they're gonna be like 21 and up jars if you know what i mean we also went to michael kors and he got me a lot of things 
and when we went to michael kors he actually let me pick out the things that i wanted so i got this skirt how beautiful is this skirt look at that i love the print i love the buttons i love the length of it i love the design everything about it is so beautiful i also got this michael kors perfume set called gorgeous they had another perfume set that i wanted i'm not sure if you guys seen it, it has like a metal chain like a gold gold links in the front of it but they didn't have the gift set available so i got this one and it comes with i believe the big perfume and the small perfume you guys can see it there it smells so freaking good but look i got this october 9th we're already like the 15th and i still haven't opened any of these gifts because it's like a mental blockage that i have it's it's hard for me to just use things that are meant for me i don't know what it is but i also got this is like the best gift i got out of everything was the macbook pro i'm very very grateful for this because i didn't expect my man to give me this this is like the one thing i didn't expect i i could have guessed the other things but i did not could have never thought that he would know like i need a laptop and this is so important because the laptop i currently have i've been having a lot of issues with it and because i've just been so depressed i will physically like bang my laptop like bah 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 you know and sometimes i think like does he look at me like I'm crazy or hopefully he doesn't judge me too much because I'm going through it. And it makes me happy to think that like this motherfucker bought me a MacBook Pro. He sees the way I destroy my own laptop and he trusts me enough to buy me this and invest in me. So and he could have got like a cheap one, but he kind of got the more expensive one. So I'm going to make sure I open this ASAP. I might even open it on camera here with you guys. See, I've never opened it yet. Brand new. I'm gonna use it for school. Look at Steve. <laughs> Wanna go ahead and eat real quick? We got some food from Carl's Jr. After we said we weren't gonna eat out anymore, we continued to eat out. And I even made rice, so that way when he came home, all he had to do was buy a meat. But you know what? He works so hard, why not us go out to eat real quick, do something fast. He, we don't have to clean up too much. What did you order? I don't need to give you a laptop. They didn't give me lettuce wrap? Did you say lettuce wrap the way I said oh, it? Is lettuce wrap. It didn't feel like a lettuce wrap. Okay. They give it in a box, don't they? Yeah, they give it. That's what I'm saying, babe. Some places do it different. So I always get the same thing. I get a guacamole mm. burger, double lettuce wrap, no tomato. It's my go-to order. I'm going to go ahead and eat really quick. And after I eat, we're going to go ahead and do an updated car tour. Okay, everyone, so this is the Catmobile. The lights work. My man cleaned the headlights as much as he could. Um, I might order some new headlights, but I honestly think they're pretty fine. It's funny because when I posted that I got this vehicle, the number one comment that everyone said is, oh, instead of like, oh, shout out to your man for buying you a car, shout out to your man for giving you the title, letting you put in your name, buying it cash, like shout out to him, you know? People just talk crap about the headlights. And I felt so bad because my man worked very hard getting this vehicle to surprise me with it, especially because like I've been very hard to deal with since my grandpa passed away. So I want to show you guys how beautiful and how clean the vehicle is. He cleaned it for me before I got it, but I haven't like done a detail yet so like i could still make it a little bit nicer as you guys can see this is the inside it has like cracked seats but i'm not really tripping on that i like the inside i like the center console i like like how free it is how spacious it is versus my nissan versa like when i was in my nissan it just didn't feel comfortable it felt very hot and especially because the seats were cloth but this one since the seats are leather it feels cool it feels fresh and like the seat is comfortable because i'm able to like um adjust the head part adjust the back adjust um the seat so it's very very comfortable i still haven't gotten the things i need to get for my vehicle but i just want to focus on getting the title first but i like like the center console it gives like okay little bougie vibes i like how it has like this wood i gotta clean it up um i don't really have anything in my center console besides the radio I have like a clicker for my apartment complex, but I don't even want to leave it in my car because I have a feeling somebody might steal it because it costs like 70 bucks. But yeah, I love it. I don't know who was driving that the head seat's up like this, but I have to put it down. That's funny. Let me turn off. Let me get out the vehicle. But yeah, it's a beautiful vehicle. I love it so much. It's clean inside and out. This is how the back seat looks. The only thing I have to do is like 
buy a new little part right there because it keeps falling out but the back seat is super duper clean no cuts no nothing and i know i can make this look brand new by like using probably like a professional cleaner or something like that i'm gonna show you guys uh how the trunk looks right now i think i showed you guys in another video but i still want to give you guys like a full little car tour i wait okay this one goes up fast that's good to know because i'm gonna knock myself out see look how deep the trunk is i love it so much whatcha beautiful I love my vehicle. I'm very, very blessed and I'm very, very happy to my mom for getting me this. I got my money from the bank, so I'm very happy about that. And I still have another check I have yet to cash. So I'm gonna probably make my way around to cashing that check within the next week or so. I actually have to do my observations in my dad's classroom. So I'm gonna go in my dad's classroom, observe some children for one of my classes, and then I'm gonna start getting my hours. The more hours you get, the sooner you can graduate, the sooner you can get credit. So I'm gonna try to get as many observation hours as possible. I'm very happy that my dad's helping me out with this because I'm already nervous asking people to do things for me. So the fact that he's like, oh yeah, you can come observe my classes, no problem, I'll talk to the principal. I'm like, shout out to my dad. Right now I'm walking to the store. It's not too far from where I'm at right now. So I'm gonna get myself something to drink real quick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and head home, edit this vlog, get it up ASAP. I do have homework due at midnight, so I'm gonna make that my goal. But make sure you guys are tuned in, like, comment, and subscribe because I'm gonna stay back to back with these consistent uploads. Okay, bye everyone, love you.